Hello everyone, I am Gyan Gir and in this video I am going to explore another useful software for chemical engineers although it can be useful for several other uh, fields as well but <coughs> uh, I am going to specify the use of this software specifically for chemical engineers I will not <coughs> so the software name is MathCAD and uh, it's like a calculator for <coughs> several which is uh, which can be so useful for several of the problems also there are uh, software like MATLAB and Excel while uh, but I think this software is more comfortable than both of them I will show you how <coughs> and what things you can do in this software and <coughs> so I will start from a feature of uh, matrix so you can see you can solve um, a, a system of equations using this software by using uh, matrices and this is his, its calculator you can solve uh, you can solve a number of material and energy balance equations I, <coughs> I will show you a pre solve uh, if you know template to show you how it is done you see uh, you can solve calculus problems in it this, you see how uh, much useful it is <coughs> it's boolean toolbar this program also uh, I am not much familiar, familiar with, with this tab uh, of programming and I have never interacted with uh, such uh, problems <coughs> So you can see you can insert functions. There are a lot of useful functions and features in this uh, software insert unit. Calculate insert unit is ex. You can insert <coughs> units. Insert table. You can plot a chart maybe and do a lot of things. So let me show you a. <coughs> problem which I solved using this software so as you can see this was the problem I had to calculate the <coughs> uh, flux which is uh, calculated using the M uh, Stephen equation Maxwell Stephen equation I was given the variables you <coughs> so you can define a variable I will show you again here like if, if you want to define a variable uh, of let's say mass transfer coefficient you have to type k12 and column you can define any value you want for example if you want to one I have already defined it now you can cut it similarly you can define all other uh, variables as well <coughs> so all you have to do once you have defined your variable you have to write the equations which relate correlate this uh, variable for example you see after entering the values I simply wrote the relation between those variables and then I will have to type n1 is equal to equal just it will itself calculate the uh, value of unknowns or the one which I uh, uh, put on the left left hand side using the given uh, relation which I typed okay <coughs> similarly when I will type the second relation and I will type n1 equal to it will itself <coughs> type the relation I can tell you how to that let's see, type this equation many of you may have may think that it's difficult to type so for multiplication you have to type shift 8 which is toss so you can type C again shift 8 now ln simply ln manually now bracket now again bracket 1 minus x beta I am not sure how to type beta but now you can over which is you know the slash <coughs> 1 oh, 1 minus x I think there is uh, there must be an option to insert the symbol but I am not doing in that much detail you can explore it yourself ok so type space and again bracket you see we have typed 
as it as the xd has not been defined it has turned red you see it's saying now let me type xd colon let's say is equal to 1 now xa colon equal to 1 what is he saying the function defined one or more of the specifier you, you see it saying that i have not specified correctly in short let me cut it <coughs> now similarly another relation has been typed uh, the value uh, the value of x2 is typed so simply uh, if you were will type x1 is equal to it will find the unknown itself let me show you an example for example i say a is equal to 1 then i type b is equal to <coughs> 2 now a plus 2 a b plus b column is equal to um, i'm not sure i will be defining it correctly uh, let me type here as 3 okay now let's say it is equal to 3 what is the thing a name is required uh, this a name is required here uh, what does that mean I'm not sure what what it is saying a name is required here this oh sorry I think I have not to define it all at once I have first have to write the relation is equal to <coughs> a k plus a b plus c also <coughs> okay so you see i haven't typed the stars in between them so it was uh, counting a b as separate variable you have to take care of that during calculations okay now let me say I'll, i think y1 has already been defined no I in this uh, it has not been defined let me say y1 is equal to 0 okay now I will type find C sorry it was not capital Just a minute, let me try a thing, then I will tell you what probably was wrong. I think C has already been defined in the question. you see uh, whatsoever maybe the solution c yes i think is already defined in this um, uh, you see template yeah, but i wanted to give you an overview how this uh, you know software works i, I simply clicked uh, type equal and itself it uh, calculated the <coughs> value I, I was trying to explore the thing but i'm not sure why isn't it working maybe my keyboard has some issue ah yes this one uh, let me say it as capital one okay now i will type it as uh, capital y equal to zero now let me type find i am not sure if i define it correctly let me type here as d1 
<coughs> you see you have to type given in a relation between two variables for example uh, for example like this is a relation why given is i think given was written here but you see you have to write given uh, on the relation it, it is like a you know a command of or, or you can say a code of this uh, software you have to type given on the relation through which your argument will be calculated so i think i i am wasting a lot of time on this uh, little uh, small stuff i wanted to cover the things as well <coughs> let me see if i have anything else to cover from this file then i will show you how to plot a graph Uh, yes, this one is the plot. Here I sound it already. You see, I can share these files with you for practice if you want. <coughs> yes, you see, I have covered all the steps here. <coughs> like, if you want to define a range, for example, i is equal to 1 from 5. Okay, so, or as you want a range, uh, like. Uh, of you can say prime numbers, even numbers, or whatsoever numbers you want. Uh, you have to do all numbers. Uh, you have to write one number and uh, at least three numbers in you. You see a pattern, or you can see in uh, some <coughs> sequence. So the software will be able to detect the sequence. For example, I type here minus three, come uh, minus three, uh, comma one semicolon 7 I don't know what this symbol is called semicolon semicolon whatever 7 so the software was able to detect this as 1357 odd numbers uh, similarly <coughs> uh, for even numbers you can say uh, I type uh, this so it was able to determine that also I type all these numbers in this I could, should have made some of them anyways now if I want to find the square, similarly I have to type what? I, for raised power we have to type shift 6 to simply press equal, okay? Now if I want to calculate Q, you see, now if I want to find exponential, I am uh, telling this basic uh, basis uh, before you will be able to plot a graph. So for example, <coughs> Okay, we take a preview of the subject of plots. You can plot these results as follows. In an open area, type y i for the y coordinate, type at the rate k. I will type y i. Uh, oh sorry I have to type square bracket as well I and now I have to type at I shift to then the cur uh, cursor will appear on the lower axis y of uh, y is already defined above you see y i is equal to sine of x now uh, the value will depend upon the value of x so for x i will type here x square bracket i you see uh, it calculated the values itself i think x i and y i are already definable okay x0 is defined as 0 it will start from 0 and y0 is also defined at 0 
similarly x5 and all those are defined now as i have told you already it's, it's uh, you have to type what have you have to type y square bracket i don't miss the square bracket similarly if, uh, if you will uh, press shift 2 frame will appear then you can type the value of x i think uh, these are the base uh, all the basic uh, things also uh, uh, just a minute for you to type multiple is you know why values are <coughs> horizontal axis you have uh, you can also uh, plot them as uh, mentioned in this for the vertical axis type you have to type simply type comma like y square bracket k comma z sorry first have to type space comma z square bracket k this was the mistake to press it work. okay now in bottom like I they have typed square bracket k space comma z square bracket you see so two occurs have been drawn here I'm not sure why is it uh, uh, straight lines but oh, okay, okay so because it is plotting two same variables and you see y k g k x k z k so there are some minor differences which you can uh, resolve based upon your own case so i hope so this video will be very useful for chemical engineers and other persons in particular who will be able to now calculate several complex relations material energy balance equations and all those complex you know formulae for which you have to <coughs> okay let me tell you one another important thing so sometimes it is it is not like possible to manually find a value of a, a variable in a relation for example uh, there can be a relation x y plus i or uh, i let's say j and whatsoever may be a long relation um or maybe it is in you see let me say in this form so whatsoever may be the value and someone tells says you to find the value of s it will not be possible for you or sometimes um, it's not possible to uh, you see uh, based upon the values of others and re rearranging the relation it is not possible to find the value or it, this relation it can be uh, under uh, can be under a root a square root or whatsoever maybe the root or it can be in a complex relation so simply you have to do is define a, a, a relation type it as given type the value of let's say x1 y whatsoever maybe the value of y and all those variables and you simply have you have to type like you, you want to find s you can type find s okay simple as that in the software will uh, do all the label for you also this video will was very useful for you uh, please don't forget to subscribe the channel see you on the next video Bye-bye.